choose the tune to Sugar Ding on the front. Conversation. That's what is deep, not any. That's right. Conversations. That's what is deep, not any. Gun makers. The first thing I would do is I make each one of your weapons have some kind of seal on it that if fingerprint triggers, so if the person who bought the gun is not the registered gun owner, it will not fire. That's simple. I have a cell phone. I can lock my cell phone, but I can't lock the weapon, the seal. Secondly, I would make it mandatory that everyone who has a bullet would actually have to have a serial number on it as well. The serial number would have to match the serial number of the weapon. So, I would make it like a little barcode. You know, like the barcodes that you go to the grocery store and buy. You gotta swipe the barcode. And if the barcode does not work, it does not register. You can put barcodes on the weapons. And for people saying, well, you know, that I'm a good law-abiding citizen, well, good point. Since you're a good law-abiding citizen, you have no problem turning in your bullets that you already have and getting the new ones with the serial numbers. We'll gladly give you new ones with serial numbers. And I would make it mandatory minimums that if you got a bullet that you do not have a weapon for the serial number, or if you're found with a weapon that without a serial number, you automatically get 50 years. So, your bullets, because people are talking about the stand your ground law. We're gonna go with the stand your ground law. I'm going to debunk that in one word. Do you know that it's illegal to carry live rounds into a weapon? That's why even policemen have to put the bullet. There's never one in the chamber. They actually have to cock that. Most people don't know that. They have to have it on safety. So in order for a person to get shot, they have to take it off safety so that they can put a bullet in the chamber. So it ain't the bullet that kills it. It is the fact that the bullet gets in a chamber because your bullet should be in a lockbox as long as your weapon should be in a lockbox. So when you stand your ground law that's in Florida that they keep doing, if I were the president, I would say, how the hell did your bullet get into the gun? Because it's illegal to carry. Anybody with a concealed carry weapon man, will know that. That's all I'm saying. Simple. Finger trigger, got to have a fingerprint. Just like my cell phone. So in case you're saying that this doesn't make any sense, because I know a lot of people think I speak and I don't make sense. But fingerprint on the trigger of the weapon, fingerprints on the handle of the weapon, like you do your cell phone. Bullets and inside the, cell, the gun should have serial numbers. So with a barcode, if the barcodes don't match, it will not fire. And last, Make sure that the bullets and the gun are, have to be separated. Police follow the law. If they follow the law, they wouldn't have those pictures. And the people saying, well, police would have all those access. They would have a trigger, a bullet. You know, they would issue that. How? Yes. And I would make it, again, just me. I understand you got to shoot some bad guys, 100%. But we would make it that every person that fired a weapon, every single person, they would have to go to another state. So if a policeman in Danville, let's say, shot somebody, they'd have to go to Memphis and face a jury of whatever non-color they are. So again, if you're a white policeman in Danville and you shoot somebody, you'd have to go to Memphis, Tennessee, and your jury would have to be all black and Mexicans and everything but a white person. I bet you then they would stop because they know if a black policeman, same thing, because I don't want nobody to make this into a racial issue. If a black policeman comes, and they have to go somewhere like, New York and face an all-white group because the truth of the matter is is that different ethnicities think differently about different things so if I'm a black man and I don't like white folks then of course if a white person comes up to me I want to be mad same thing some of these white police are shooting our black people and don't have any fear of retribution or the life they forget that the other person on the other end is a life that's a real person there's a real body Thank you. Have a good day. I hope you watch. But the, the things that's going on is very simple. If we made Congress do their jobs and we had somebody who would speak up and say, these are simple things. I should not be able to have a cell phone that has more security than my gun. I should not have, be able to go to the store and buy a pack of bubble gum. Cost me takes me more time to buy a pack of bubble gum than it does a bullet. You have a good day. Bye. Good night, my fellow Juicy Tunes. It's me, a girl named Anna from Conversation. That's what it's D, not any. And you know what you can do to my page? 